am Dr. Harpreet Singh and I represent Team Conceptual Orthopedics. Good evening, sir. Congratulations. Good evening. Thank Congratulations you. on passing your practical exam with flying colors. And Thank you, sir. Uh, I know your parents would be really proud of you that their son is now a licensed orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> Yes, sir. They are very, very proud. My parents are very proud. And what do they do? Tell your parents the name of your and please tell me what do they do. Can you share the name of your parents, Manav? Uh, sir, uh, it has been broken, sir. Uh, uh, my name, my father's name is Anil Kumar Babbar and my mother is Rekha Babbar. Sir, I am from Punjab. Okay. So, uh, Manav, uh, tell me how did you decide to become an orthopedic surgeon? When and how did you decide to become an orthopedic surgeon? Uh, sir, uh, first of all, I want to I want to tell that after I base, I never want to become the orthopedic surgeon. Seriously, I want to tell. Uh, but after the COVID era, uh, need PG exams got delayed, and I joined the Punjab Government Services. And after that, I realized the value of orthopedics after MBBS by doing job. So after getting the rent, I decided to become orthopedic surgeon. I was in love with medicine, but uh, the season of destiny took me to, to become the orthopedic surgeon. Sir. When, where have you done your uh, undergraduation and post-graduation from? Sir, I have done uh, undergraduation from Government Medical College, Freeport, Punjab. And right. I am a primary, I have done my uh, DNB from, uh, uh, primary DNB from Venkateshwar Hospital, Varga, under Dr. R.K. Pardes, sir. Okay. Great. Uh, so tell me, how has team conceptual orthopedics been of help to you during your orthopedic journey? Okay, sir. First of all, I want to thank my uh, HOD Dr. R.K. Pandey for all this journey because uh, uh, our sir promote this academic activity. After knowing, after starting my DNB from say, uh, after six months of joining, I realized that orthopedic conceptual is very, very helpful during my post graduation. I not only uh, joined the uh, DNB this course after uh, passing my theory exam, but I have attended two to three co PG courses while uh, during my post graduation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sir, you are always uh, uh, guide uh, guide me to join them, and I used to learn a lot from them. You conducted these courses and were very very helpful for me to taking an examination. That helped me in Mumbai in my exams. And the uh, DNB OSP course, uh, as the name suggests, conceptual. I know that I knew the theory after passing that theory, but how to attempt in a four minutes and how to get these uh, one-liners from question? I I realized that day, sir. Okay, so uh, you think the three-day OSCE course was of help yes, to you? It helped. That makes us. Yes. yes, sir. In OSCE, it was very very helpful. Some questions were exactly from the questions we discussed. And uh, the uh, the point is ki what to write as a Shilesh Pai said, tell what they are asking, you should know. Everyone knows the theory, but what we have to write in those uh, those four minutes uh, was very important in, uh, while that course. You thought that course we organized was worth attending? So, worth it is more than worth and very helpful for the children, sir. Very, very helpful. Because we need a platform to uh, discuss discuss these all things, but in all the post graduation training, we never get time. Okay, what is this? But the level they are asking is getting harder and harder. At least one needs that platform so that one can discuss this, what, what they are going to ask. Hmm. Even you were pr uh, predicting the questions, okay, what they are going to ask, the 10 year questions, that was very, very helpful and that makes the that makes the preparation easy and crisp. Okay. So what have you planned for your future? What do you plan sir, to do? Sir, I have joined my SR in my uh, under my HOD. So I am going to learn all the skills they uh, they had they had in it, sir. Okay. So no, I I want I am joined as a senior resident post, sir. Okay. And any specialty, subspecialty you think you want to specialize in? Sir, in knee arthroplasty uh, or arthroplasty as a whole, I want to get specialized, sir. Okay, great. Any tips and tricks for your juniors and uh, for your colleagues uh, how to prepare for their post graduation examination? Sir, first of all, I want to tell that uh, uh, e conceptual is like your uh, co PG or co anything, you can discuss with everything. 
they had very lot of stuff and it is very very useful uh, you should buy it as soon as you join your pg and you get uh, from from learning how to make plaster and how to do a surgery they have everything in it and uh, uh, for exams i was preparing for exam one year before the exam date one year theory uh, after getting uh, after getting learn two years from conceptual uh, making concepts i used to, uh, uh, for and and uh, reading good books like campbell like turek uh, and rockford so after making good concept i started a whole hearted preparation one year from the exam day and uh, after completing thesis i was into my exam even my seniors and my hod helped in it to get study and done it because as we all hear dnb stuff but uh, as a, after making concepts and after uh, getting through the preparation it is not uh, as hard as it because concepts was made in conceptual itself so i have to just cram the data or cram everything and get get the result now and same and same and and after the my theory exam i i i watch all the videos on how to examine and co pg course was at my back so dnb course helped me so it was not as hard as we are thinking they just ask the basic things and uh, we should focus on the basic thing they don't don't ask that what are the what are types of what the thing but you know the basics how to examine the patient and dn oski is also on a same basic infections are to touch basic things people focus on multiple things but i think they should focus on conceptual and good books and the result will be also that's a great piece of advice that uh, even your actions tell us that you need preparation a friend a guide can just show you the way hold your hand but the real hard works come from the student so your hard exactly. work of one year actually it's three years you said that you started preparing one year prior to your exam exactly that hard work has shown has borne fruit yes, and you passed uh, your passed your yes, exam with flying colors so we are very really happy yes, that sir. we helped you we are of any help to you in your journey and we welcome you to the conceptual family and we hope that you'll be part of teaching this orthopedic sure, sir, fraternity sure, sir. in the future sure, sir thank you dr mala and uh, all the best it for really you really thank you sir really thank you